Well, welcome back to Fangtober Day 21. Today, uh, we're working on the theme of Chalice. As I've said in all the other videos, there is a prompt list linked in the description below if you want to grab that for later or you want to follow along now. Um, so you can grab that. Anyway, so I'm sharing a little bit of the sketch process here, just kind of like the other videos, just kind of like the bare bones, and then I flush it out off camera. But this piece was actually supposed to be done digitally, and I really liked it, like, on paper a lot, so I decided that I was just going to go ahead and work on it traditionally, skip out on a digital video. However, there will be a digital piece tomorrow, and I'm really excited about it. I think it's my best one yet, so really excited. Anyway. So for this piece, um, I kind of got this inspiration from a TV show I really like. It's called Rain, and it's supposed to be like a dramatic historical thing about Mary, Queen of Scots. And I don't know, I just really liked it when it came out, and I've rewatched it a couple times because I'm a sucker for it. And I was really inspired by that for this piece, so... Um, yeah, there's that. <laughs> but so the piece is called Chalice and she is holding a chalice in her hand and she's just kind of like almost like sarcastically like holding her skirt up. At least in my mind, it's sarcastic, kind of like, screw you. <laughs> like I'm the queen around here. Anyway, that's that's kind of like my head thing. Perspective is really bad in this piece, but I tried and I'm not even upset about it. Like, eh, whatever. It looks okay, right? Um, but this piece was really fun. It did take a lot of layers. I'm working in a lot more layers these past few pieces, so um, I'm pretty happy about that. I feel a little progress coming on, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. I did end up coloring the dress a little differently than in the sketchbook. In the sketchbook, the bottom part of the dress was red and white. I ended up coloring it black and red. Um, and I like it a little better here. So, you know, but I think the white and red would have looked good too, but I just wanted the black and red, so... Anyway, so shameless plug, my store is still selling all the fall and Halloween goodies. I'm selling out of stuff, so if you're interested in getting that or a free item because I'm doing first 10 orders are getting free things, and those are already almost up as well, so if you want to get one, um, I would hurry over there. And you should join my newsletter because, like, in a couple days, I'm going to be releasing one with a discount code. Now, if you're on my Patreon, you will get more of a discount for being a patron than you will my email newsletter, so if you're already a patron, you're already getting a better discount there. However, if you aren't a patron and you don't want to be a patron, but you want to be part of my free newsletter because it's totally free, uh, you can get a percentage off that is less than Patreon, but more than you would if you weren't subscribed. <laughs> so uh, there's a link in the description below for where you can go join that if you are interested in that. Anyway, shameless plugging. I apologize. Uh, I really love dry brushing, especially on this arches paper. It's it's so gloriously textured that like dry brushing just looks so good. I'm I'm a sucker for texture in any kind of like ink or watercolor. So anytime I can kind of incorporate it, I do. <laughs> so uh, if you haven't noticed that by now anyway. Uh, but anyway, I, I really like this piece. I think she turned out really good. And like I said, I feel like I personally feel like I've already made a lot of growth this year as far as art has, like is concerned. And I say this year, but I mean this month. But I guess this year is also kind of accurate. Um, and I, I don't know, I think I might make this one a print for patrons this month because a few of these pieces I'm going to be turning into the monthly Patreon prints. And I don't know, I like the past few ones I've done and tomorrow's too. So I'm, I'm having to decide, like I do up to three prints over on Patreon and it's really hard. It's like choosing between like my babies or something because when well, it is choosing between my babies, cause I create all these. So I don't know. It's been really difficult, but I'm going to have to choose at least three. Well, I'm going to have to choose up to three. I'm definitely doing three. I mean, like, there's no way I can't, but I have to pick and it's going to be really difficult. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I do a lot of the inking. Actually, I think I do all of the inking off camera, so you won't get to see that. And I apologize. Uh, and I say inking is in like outlines and stuff. I don't think I did any in the background. Um, it's mainly just like her and her outfit and stuff, but. Yeah, I, this piece was really enjoyable to work on and I'm surprised I had the time to work on it to be honest because it did take me a little longer than I'm used to with the, a few of these pieces, so. Yeah. Also, um, I, I was going to have like a lot of blood, but the chalice ended up kind of blending into her dress. So it is like spilling out of the chalice. But unfortunately, since her dress was black, um, it, some parts of it kind of got washed away. So I ended up having to use a Posca marker 
but I think it still ended up getting kind of dark, so I had to outline it just to kind of make it pop a little bit more, um, which is totally fine. Um, but yeah, here's a look at the final piece. I added a little bit of frilliness to the end of her dress, um, and I really like it. I think she's super fierce, and I... I feel like she's going to be yelling off with your head here soon, <laughs> just so she can have a snack for later. <laughs> anyway, uh, I want to thank you all so incredibly much for watching. If you're not part of our squid pod, there's the subscribe button down below. I hope you guys are all staying safe, happy, and healthy, and I hope you're having a squidly awesome day. And until tomorrow, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!